commonly known in Dwarf Fortress, water can be pressurized, and it can cause some absolutely catastrophic results. The little known fact is lava can also be pressurized, and I'm gonna show you how to do it two ways in this video. You're seeing example one on the screen right now, and right here is example two. Let's get started. So it's a relatively simple diagram that you're going to need in order to build something like this. What you're going to need is you're going to need a very tall cistern, and you're going to need a pump stack. If you don't know how to build either of these things, well, I can't help you there. You can see my tutorial on building pump stacks, and if you want to build one for lava consistently, everything needs to be made out of lava-safe materials. If that makes sense to you, let's continue. You're going to need your lava cistern, or lava reservoir, to be very, very tall. As many Z-levels as possible. Now there's two ways to pressurize lava using a technique like this. Once you've built your pump stack, as many Z levels tall as you want it to be, and then of course the lava reservoir right next to it, the first way to cause pressure is pretty simple. Select a spot around halfway up and connect another pump to it. Now you only need really one, maybe two pumps for this, just to get a good example. And then let the lava fill the reservoir up to the maximum. When you release the lava that is being pumped onto a different level, it will clear the entirety of the lava that is in the pump stack next to it. Essentially, connecting one pump stack to a single pump. And then when you turn on the single pump, while the pump stack is already running and completely full, that pump stack then empties out all of the lava instantly, with an effect something like this. And a second example, just to prove it wasn't a fluke, it could also be something like this. Now, as you can see, I'm actually tapping the period key on the keyboard to move the game forward one tick at a time, but it is moving extraordinarily quickly. Now, the second way to pressurize lava, which I also teased at the beginning, is kind of like making a mini eruption. So when you are pumping lava into a reservoir very high up, the lava tries to match that level. So essentially, if you're pumping lava into a reservoir on layer 40, then the game is going to try and get all other lava that is coming out of that reservoir up to level 40. So, if you are pumping out at level 40, and then have a little tunnel coming out the side, and then that tunnel goes to level 20, then when that tunnel has access to the surface, it will try and match it. So the way I do this is by having a small tunnel that you can see right here, going from roughly the middle bottom of my reservoir to just below the surface. I then use a lava safe drawbridge with a lava safe mechanism so that when I pull the lever and it erupts, you get this lovely, red, molten geyser of death. Very useful for clearing out any siege that's trying to parlay. Thank you very much for watching this video. I know it was a quick one. I hope you're looking forward to adventure mode. Check out the links in the description for other things that I do, and I hope to see you in the next one.